Hi folks, Nathaniel here at Chicago Music Exchange. Now, as you can tell, today we are checking out the American Acoustasonic models. Someone say Sonic. My favorite is actually Chemical Plant Zone. Next time. As you can tell, today we're gonna to be checking out the American Acoustasonic CME Exclusive Shell Pink. These guitars are exclusively available in the US through Chicago Music Exchange, but they are also available over at Anderton's in England. Our good friends, who we have partnered with on numerous occasions. Danish Pete, Captain, how are you doing? Now, this has got a shell pink top with a beautiful tortoise shell uh, style top purfling and rosette. As you can see, it's available in all three of the American Acoustasonic models. We've got your Jazzmaster, you've got your Stratocaster, and of course you've got your Tele. As you can imagine, ever since Fender actually announced the American Acoustasonic models a couple of years ago, we've been certainly trying to get them to make us the Shell Pink exclusive, you know, politely nudging them. And thankfully it's happened, and that is of course due to the great work here at CME, Andertons, and of course the incredible team at Fender for turning this into a reality.
Now these exclusive versions, they're only different in their aesthetics and are still true to the function of their standard counterparts. Now what you gotta remember is that they're not just different body shapes. Each guitar is a completely different animal in its own right. Uh, the major difference on some of them, for example, I'm sure you can already see it, uh, on the Jazzmaster is the Acoustasonic Shawbucker Humbucking Pickup, uh, whereas on the Strat, and of course the Tele, you have the Acoustasonic N4 Noiseless Pickup. So, been a lot of fun playing with these uh, and demoing them. Overall, a very fun guitar, as you already know. Uh, cool color, probably not gonna last long, so make sure you come and check them out. And of course, if you haven't already, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. I had a Sega Mega Drive growing up when I was a kid. So before or after the uh, you called it you called it a Genesis. Oh, so. same thing. Same thing. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. I had Road Rash Two. That was brilliant. I had Sonic the Hedgehog Two, Altered Beast, mm -hmm. Earthworm Jim. <laughs> Do you remember Earthworm yeah, Jim? Yeah, it's just a funny game. <laughs> uh, what else was there? Uh, I, I never completed that game actually. I never completed Sonic 2. Yeah, those like... <laughs>
Hard, man. Dude, if you 